Hello everyone, um, welcome to this video, and today I'm going to be discussing, like, the mob vote, um, but you know that. Um, so, if you have any back, if you hear any background noises, I'm sorry, I'm not recording in a very soundproof proof room, so there's probably a lot of echoes as well, but, um, yeah, I'll try to keep that to a minimum. So, every other year or so, Mojang, the company that develops Minecraft, does this thing called the mob vote, which I'm not going to bother to define, because anyone who clicked on this video already knows what it is, but every year, a byproduct of this mob vote is massive disdain for Mojang coming from the community. Now, at first, I kind of agreed with some of the people that would that would rally every year and protest the mob vote, calling the devs lazy dum-dums that do nothing for half the year. But this year's mob vote has made me realize something. The mob vote sucking overall isn't Mojang's fault, because the mob vote as an idea doesn't suck. In reality, the community is recently exploding dissatisfaction for everything Mojang does. And to their credit, Mojang has been screwing up lately, like microtransactions, terrible launch redesigns, restrictive TOS updates, chat filters, a host of other new practices. It's just They serve only to boost their revenue stream, increase profits, but this video is about the mob vote specifically, and why I think it gets a lot of undeserved hate. So, the mob votes leading up to this one admittedly haven't been the best. Introducing mobs like the Phantom or Glow Squid, which are loathed by an overwhelming majority of the players, but... So then, at that time, players hated the mob vote because the mob added was either useless or an outright nuisance. And this year, however, has not been like its predecessors. All three of its candidates are stellar ideas for mobs that have incredible potential and all deserve to be in the game. But players are still mad, um, and this time because all the ideas are too good, making it difficult to choose. And I'm thinking, wait, isn't that a good thing? Mobs that all have good odds of winning and make it so that regardless of which one wins, something good is being added to the game? To, to, to recap, players were mad that a bad mob was being added to the game. Now they're mad that a good mob is being added. So they've been attacking Mojang this year because they won't add all three to the game. Saying that the mob vote is an excuse for the devs to be lazy and add one feature instead of three. Completely forgetting that without the mob vote, devs would never have thought up any of them and wouldn't get any. Imagine if you applied this logic elsewhere, like the presidential- Oh, come on, really? You're gonna make us choose one of these guys and they, they bring out all the candidates for the president? <sighs> next year, they're like- they're, they're, People are just like- or, Yeah, next year, I'm in the US. Uh, people are just mad that, like, they can't have two presidents. <laughs> um, or if, like, then during the next Minecraft update- um, the, instead of doing a mob vote, they just announced three mobs pretty early, and then they're like, players are just like, oh, really, you're gonna add three mobs? That's lazy. You should add five, because here's what I'm thinking. If, you, if you're getting mad at them for only adding one mob instead of three, even though the mob is good, where does that end? Like, would you get mad if they added, would you get mad if they added three, and would you say, why can't you add five? Like, I feel... They've improved something that you were mad at, and you're still mad at them, so I just don't get why- Sorry for blaming you, by the way. I don't- I don't know your opinion on the mob vote, so I shouldn't be saying you. Um, just, you know, hypothetically, if you're one of the people that are just, like, mad at the mob vote and doesn't like it. Um, yeah. So, anyway, my stance on the mob vote is that it's nothing but a way of making sure that a minimum of one mob is added in every update. So that's the mob that wins the mob vote. And then that's the minimum if they, in, in case that they don't add yeah. any other mobs for the entire update. Okay, abolishing it, like some people want, isn't going to create a minimum of three. It's going to lower it all the way to a minimum of zero because then you're not going to have, you're not going to have any mobs being added in case they don't. Like if that, if they, because if you abolish the mob vote, then it, if they happen to not add any other mobs aside from the mob vote mobs that year, then. You're just gonna have a minimum of zero mobs being added, and so when done wrong, the mob vote. When done wrong, the mob vote adds an annoying, to practically useless mob that players struggle to and players struggle to decide on like a, a lesser evil sort of, and if, you know a few mob developers get some inspiration, um, and when it's done correctly, a good mob is added to the game, um, yeah, and everyone is happy. I I. I I think people should just be happy that some excellent mob is getting added in the 1.21 update, alongside the other features, whether it will be, you know, I, I just don't get why people are mad, but what, whether it will be, whether the mob that gets added will be the crab, armadillo, penguin, that'll be known tomorrow. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty close vote, so I'm excited to see what happens. 
Um, I think I think the Penguin is going to win. Uh, I'll do my best to get the Armadillo out of anyway. That's the one I'm voting for. Uh, to all those watching, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I hope you get your preferred mob added. Feel free to comment what yours is and the reason behind your choice. And um, have a good day. Also, sorry uh, for the little background noise that came in at the end there. But also, um, sorry for making this, this video sound very rambly and ranty. Didn't mean to sound like that. But um, yeah, have a good day.